Hey there, thanks for tuning in. This is Tech Tuesday, week number 16. If you want to skip ahead to just the wiring diagram, it starts at 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Thanks a lot. Hey, Tyler Theater Design Company. This will be uh, Tech Tuesday, week number 16. So what I'm going to do is go over just a basic uh, IR repeater setup. So uh, what's an IR repeater? Basically allows you to use this IR receiver right here, a brain, power supply, and these emitters to allow you to remote mount gear in like a closet or a cabinet. Maybe you have a cabinet that has solid face doors. So what I'm going to do is just kind of unbox this one. This is actually just one that we pulled from a uh, customer's home. That's just an Amazon one. And uh, they decided they didn't want to use it. So we uh, are going to use it on a job somewhere. So I'll unbox this guy. And then I'll follow this with a, a wiring diagram on how this works that we had made. And we'll go from there. Super cool, uh, simple Tech Tuesday, but uh, something that might save you some effort. All right, so let's open this up. Done a million IR systems. These used to be super popular back in the day. So on this one here, and they're all going to be about the same. You've got some uh, little emitter glues for the front of your gear where the IR receiver is at. You got some glue for the IR receiver, little direction manual. So you shouldn't need this because I've got a uh, cool video that I have my graphics guy make at the end of the uh, video here. And then this is all the IR emitters. So if you ask what IR emitter is, if you've got the uh, face of a front of equipment, a lot of the gear actually used to have a little IR logo. A lot of it doesn't now, but you'll see a circle. You can take a flashlight and shine it in. But uh, just imagine this is the face of a piece of equipment you would stick that on there. And then this is gonna run over to the connecting block. I'll show you that in a minute. And so power supply, generally these are gonna all be 12 volt. And then connecting block. So this one here is a generic, kinda of actually looks like it might be the brand Niles, uh, maybe rebranded. So, but you can see here, you've got a, uh, so this one actually has got a five volt USB power, uh, which is interesting, I haven't seen one with that. It's got a 12 volt DC power, so that's cool. So this one looks like it works with both. There's your IR emitters. All right, so I'm gonna jump back in here because I actually was reading this thing and this does a little bit different. So this actually has a five volt USB power. It's got 12 volt power in, and then it actually lets you run up to three IR receivers in. So maybe you had a multi-zone system or an old school system where you wanted to have a IR receiver in your master bedroom and then maybe an IR receiver in your living room. This allows you to do that. Maybe the third you do a deck. And then it's got six IR emitter outputs. And again, it is 12 volts like I mentioned earlier. And then last piece of the puzzle here is you got an IR receiver. So this, imagine this again, this is your TV. This is gonna stick on your TV or the top of your cabinet. And when you press your remote at that, I'm gonna go through this signal wire. I'm gonna plug this into your IR emitter there, your receiver, excuse me. Your IR emitter is going to go out to your gear. And of course, you're going to power it up, power supply. And that's really it. There's nothing to it. So, again, this sits outside of your cabinet or near your TV. You route that through. A lot of guys will cut these and extend the wire with some Cat5 to route these uh, from a TV to a cabinet. And then they'll reconnect this in here. This will mount on a wall or inside the cabinet. This goes out to your gear, your IR receivers. That's what's sending the IR signal through. And then of course, powered up with 12 volts. All right, so real simple tech Tuesday. Um, I've actually get asked this all the time um, out in the job, how we hide gear. And this is one simple way we do it. And then follow it up with a diagram at the end. Uh, it's way more accurate than what I just showed you. All right, thanks a lot.